Dr. Bowen, when you're talking about that, I, I've completely flashed back to sixth grade because um, I had a really, my, my best friend in sixth and seventh grade, um, large, large Catholic family, actually. And um, his not like, I think two siblings down from him, his sister had um, dis some disabilities, some learning disabilities. Um, and that was kind of my first as a kid. Mm -hmm. Like, cause I would go over there for the weekend or I'd go over there and, you know, we, you know, whatever play out and they play out in the yard. And I got to know his family really well and got to know his sister. And that was like, you know, that was sort of normalizing for me as a sixth grader, like, yeah, everyone doesn't have the same uh, family. Everyone doesn't have the same capabilities. Everyone doesn't, but I, but the, the, the part that I remember being sad about was, um, she wasn't able to go to school with her mm -hmm. other sisters. And that was really heartbreaking. I remember as a six year old, like learning that, like that would be so sad. Like she has to watch them go to a different school. So, I mean, can you talk a little bit about, I mean, I, I think that's, that for me probably is where a lot of our Catholic families have a lot of heartbreak because uh, they can't send all of their children to the same school. And, and think how stressful that is. Um, as a family, I mean, listen, if you've got a lot of kids and my wife and I have five kids, so we understand that, yeah. you know, it, it could be challenging at times. Um, and it's hard when you have to balance two different school schedules. You've got the one schedule that your kids go to and then the other school, right? Unfortunately, um, a lot of families have difficulty really balancing all of that. And they make the very difficult decision that our kids have to go to one school. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes they'll choose the school where their student, their one child with a disability is receiving services. And unfortunately, I've seen too many cases of this is that um, when families feel the door of the church close like that, um, it's not just in the school. Um, that they also feel the door of the church closing on them. And it, in, in this time of um, disaffiliation, I, 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 this, this is a dangerous precedent, I think, you know, for us to happen is, is that when families feel like the church is turning their backs on them, then, you know, then they leave and go other places.